Hello folks, this is our review of the Mario 3D All-Stars package on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we'll be going through what you get in there, what the games are like, and uh, have a little game on them and see what we think. Let's get on with that. So this is our little review of the 3D Mario All-Stars package on the Nintendo Switch. Now I'm not personally playing it, but someone is playing it who's never played these Mario games before. And that would be me! <laughs> Indeed. And we're going to start with Super Mario 64. So, what do you think of um, how he controls? Well, he is slightly drifty. Mm -hmm. And I also do have to mention, um, on the N64 he does not do this with his hands. Mm -hmm. um, they actually do blend into the tree. Um, I like that he said that. So there's minor graphical glitches in there. Yeah. But that's to be expected with a game that's... Yeah, now if you've played really new games, yeah, like me, I've played things like Super Mario Odyssey, Luigi's Mansion, which are all really new games, yeah? So don't be freaked out by this coat or this Mario. They are fine. They are not dying. They just look a bit weird now, don't they, compared to modern Mario? Yeah, I know. I thought that they were... Um, yeah, I thought that they were turning into Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is quite blocky. But when this came out in like 97, I think in the UK, this was absolutely unbelievable. You couldn't believe the graphics back then. Because we'd come from like 2D games like Sonic the Hedgehog to this. It was just like, wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, and yeah, like, you can get to the outside. Um, yeah, like yeah, you can jump off things, fall over. Do and... belly flops, apparently. <laughs> So I know obviously it looks a bit old graphically, but do you think it, they've done a good job making it? Uh, oh, like yeah. A... oh yeah, because like, you know, if you're like me, yeah, and like, you know, you really dream to play these old games like me, mm -hmm. yeah, then yeah, I'd say yeah, it's pretty good for you. So yeah. Uh, now I'll try to play another point. Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, we'll get back into that in a second then. Finally. Yeah, so this game was uh, 21 years ago this came out. So here we're having a little go on Super Mario Sunshine. Obviously, as you can see, the graphics are a lot better because you've gone from N64 to the GameCube. But what do you think about how he controls? Yeah. Water is a big theme in this game, as you'll see um, when you play a little bit more and you get your little water pack. It's a real how, big deal. How do, you, how do you progress? I have never I, um, haven't played this game in a long, 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 long time. Oh, like this, I guess. You're going to get your water pack. You guys, but I don't like things that know your name instantly. Well, Mario is pretty famous, isn't he? Yeah, I know, but he knows where he's from. So. Yeah, that's a bit weird. How they got all the information on him? A bit creepy, isn't it? Well, that's just that's just my opinion. I think that you guys should definitely play this. Oh wow! Okay. Let's see how it feels to uh, fly around and uh, shoot things with your little uh, water cannon there. I have no idea what to do, okay. So I'm guessing if you clear all that up, that will probably fix whatever the problem is in that bit. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, I Right here, I guess. I think you've got loads. You only use a tiny bit. I think if you need to aim it up, mate, that's it. Him. 
Yeah, I think if you try and aim it up now, you'll get him. Right and long stick. Or you can just do it like this. I think you need to hit the creature in the face though with it. Mm, I don't know if I see that. I told you I didn't know how to do it. So? You've just defeated it, didn't you? Yeah, right. So, like, so if like, you've ever played something like Odyssey and you've been to Mushroom Kingdom, a star will look like a normal star. This, this, this is how I roll. Ooh. <laughs> so hello people, we're back uh, doing the gameplay section now. Um, I didn't film the cutscenes because I don't want to ruin it for people. Um, it's not the most story heavy game in the world, but um, we don't want to ruin it. So we'll just show you a bit more gameplay instead of um, just Whoa. filming cutscenes. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I think once you get him enough, he'll then pop out. Whoa. So while he's doing his thing, what review out of 10 so far anyway would you give Super Mario 64? Because for me, it's a 10 out of 10 game because I loved it so much growing up. One out of one. One out of one? Yeah. Because one is then the highest, it's still, it's like 10 out of 10 is the highest. 10 is then the highest. One yeah. is the highest. Okay, yeah. All right, so it's got a maximum score anyway. So it is yeah, a very enjoyable yeah, game, 10 isn't it? Because I know you've played a bit more of it since. So let's see how you do destroy this little thing. Hey. Yeah, the controls, um, the controls on this are a little bit tough compared to some of the earlier uh, games. So we're now playing Super Mario Galaxy, which was originally released on the Nintendo Wii. So again, graphics are better, but not massively better than the GameCube, um, but a little bit. So what do you think about the controls of Mario? It's obviously using a bit of touch control here as well as um, normal analog stick controls. How's it feel? Pretty nice. I mean, yeah, we got this little star yeah. bouncing around here. So yeah. Uh, so like, yeah, this is all obviously like you're controlled by the actual point on. So yeah, I'm now currently controlling this star. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, like yeah, so yeah, but uh, like yeah, you can play as Mario. Yeah. Yeah. And well, actually, in Super Mario Odyssey, yeah, if, like, if like, yeah, you've ever played that, yeah, if you do a jump three times. Mm -hmm. Then he actually does do that Maybe this was the first game that that actually um, happened in. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and he does the same thing. Well, the graphics are certainly nice, aren't they, on the water there? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, he also does this. Except he does a roll after. Oh, right, so, guys, yeah. Uh, we did have... We do have this in Super Mario Odyssey, bouncing on their heads, except it doesn't do that flip after the third time. Mm. Yeah, but we, have, like, yeah, we also have this in the other two games that we've seen playing. Yeah, and that is... So, how has the motion controls come into it so far? Have you found it useful for anything yet? Has like the game said um, what the motion controls are there for? Uh, that I skipped it all. I skipped the motion controls. <laughs> but um, I haven't really found it useful except for having like your little thing. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure it will have some sort of use. Um, but at the moment, that just looks like you're just having fun just running around, to be honest. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I'm trying to find the next bit, which is probably this way. So if you point the motion controller at something, do any of the buttons do anything? Like, does it fire anything or something like that? No, but that is a pretty nice theory. Yeah. So yeah, it could be something like that. Yeah, in theory, it could be something like that. Well, guys, I'm currently being destroyed. Yeah, 
they right. really want to get you, don't they? Yeah. So, what would you give out of 10 Super Mario Sunshine? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'd probably give it 10 out of 10, because like, I found out what the star thing is for, guys. Well, this I'm, I'm talking about Super Mario Sunshine, the one with the water. Would you say that one's a 10 out of 10? Oh, yeah. Really good? Easily, yeah. Excellent. And obviously, you've already said this one's a 10 out of 10. So what do you particularly like about this one then? Well, uh, you yeah, know, the fact that like, you've got the star, and yeah, like, yeah, it just feels like an earlier version of Odyssey. Mm, yeah, I could, I could understand that, yeah. I like the music in this as well. It's got quite a nice, like, otherworldly, calming feel to it. So do you think the motion controls add much to the game? Oh! You got it. Do you think the motion controls make the game better? Yeah. You've got a star. So, as a package, all three games for, say, £30, would you say that's a good offer? Oh, yeah. And when you walk into these flowers, yeah. just like in Odyssey, some little, star, um, some little stars pop out. Oh, that's and good. Well, yeah, so you see this star moving around on the screen? Yeah. Well, when like, yeah, you see these kind of stars, you just swipe. Oh, okay. So, yeah, see it, and then see how yeah, you swipe for that, and then you can grab it. Or, you can just hit them with Mario, I'm sure. Okay. Cool. So as a package, what would you give it out of 10? Because you get three games for about £30. Now they are older games, but would that be a 10 out of 10 value proposition, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, cool. Yeah, but I wouldn't sell it for something over maybe 40 quid. Okay. Reason, because like, yeah, these are really old games and I'm not, I don't know if many people would want them, but yeah, yeah. I know that I feel really want them. Yeah, they're very good fun, aren't they? Yeah. Cool, well, I think, I guess that about wraps this up. I mean, I've played them as well, and I, I did really enjoy them. Um, and they've had patches and stuff now that have got rid of a lot of the minor issues that they used to have. Right? So all that's left to say now is um, thank, you for, um, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you want, and uh, catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.